So what we're doing for this project is we're going to attach this tow hook to the S10. This is actually for a Camaro. I figured that they weigh roughly the same, so we can do that. Then we got this flat bar that we're gonna use to weld and fabricate the bracket. This is a two by 36, or two by 316 by 36 inches long. And we got the perspective nuts to make this work. So for this build, I wanna put this hook on the left hand side or the right hand side if you're in the truck. And basically what I'm kind of hoping for is it looks something like this around here when it's done. I don't know exactly where, but in order for us to do that, I gotta take off the grill and the bumper. So we'll do that right now. And there it is. Front clip has been removed. So after playing with it for a while, I'm gonna use these two holes here to actually mount the plate that we're gonna make, but we're gonna do it on the inside. So this is what kind of what we're looking at. I want the threads to start at this plate. So when this screws in, it'll be kind of something like that. But what I'm gonna do first is I gotta clean up these nuts and weld them together. Probably a couple welds will be a suffice. And then I'm gonna weld them on each side that I'm able to weld on. That way it'll have a nice Nice, uh, nice straight to it. All right, that was the second side, the back side, obviously. Actually, that's the, yep. So when it's in the truck, it's actually gonna sit like this. So I'm pretty damn sure, this got extremely hot, you can kind of tell by the metal. Um, more hot than I'm sure they need it to be, but when you're working with that kind of welder, that you just kind of work with what you got. Back side, a lot uglier, for sure, but we're definitely gonna have to clean this side up just because of the uh, frame, so ignore that. <laughs> I am happy with this weld though, it seems pretty great. I went pretty slow, that's why it's kind of fat, kind of thick, but to all my weld nerds out there, go ahead and tell me what I did wrong. I don't care.
So here's what it looks like, finished product. We were able to get a uh, even a half inch size wrench in here. So that's how you would tighten and loosen it. And then this will probably end up putting some, ah, uh, you can't see that, can you? Yeah, you can. On this one, we'll probably end up putting some Loctite just so it doesn't, you know, come out. It doesn't have a need, reason to come out. Right now it's sitting a little more to the right than we want it to. Um, I gotta see how that's gonna fit with the bumper. We might end up changing or getting longer bolts because it's just the way the frame's kind of laid out. But I really want this to could be straight. But when I put the bumper back on, uh, we'll see how that plays out. But for now, I'm gonna stop recording until I get this situation with the plate figured out. And I'll let you know what I did. All right, so after negotiating with the metal, I've decided to flip it and mount it like this. So basically it's the same way, set up a reverse though. You know, you got the plate in there and then nut out here. The only downside from this is that I'm gonna have to cut into this support here that holds the bumper, which is also a type of crash support. But the way I look at it is with this bar in place, if something actually ever hits this, hopefully this bar can take some of that impact. So it kind of makes up for it. I'm, I'm, I don't know, this is just a guess. <laughs> so I guess we should put that disclaimer. Uh, don't try this at home, I don't know. But anyways, the plan here is to go ahead and cut it. Cut this, basically make a notch from here to here. I kind of eyeball the lines. And the reason I'm doing that is because no matter what I would do to the bump, the actual bracket, it was gonna stay a little bit angled coming out around here. But by doing it like this, it puts me actually somewhere around here, a little better dead center. And I think that'll just be a better look anyways. So I'm gonna get to work. I'm gonna get my line straight and I'm gonna go ahead and make the smallest cut possible. So I cut off a little more than I needed to, about a half an inch more. I thought I would go deep. I thought I needed to go deeper, but hell, I was wrong. Um, it actually ended up coming out this way. It's kind of weird how this whole setup is, but anyways, the plan for the future on this is I'll probably just repair it with the flat bar, just kind of bend it. And, Kind of just to give it a little bit more structural, you know. I'll probably do that off camera before I put the bumper back on. Or I might even make an extra piece that goes right here. Just depends. This probably will be easier. But now I'm going to see how this fits on the bumper. If it's good, I'm going to take a torch and heat it up very lightly. Just so it can make, make some imprint on where I need to make my hole in the bumper. So we went ahead and drilled our hole. Came out really nice. Ollie made it the actual size of this section right here because... Realistically, that's how it's supposed to stick out. But we ran into a problem. Where the hole was originally be was here, and although it may not seem a big enough difference from here to here, it actually is. I don't know if you can see that on camera or not. So, where I'm at right now is this thing is too short to reach the thing. What I mean by that is, is um, here, I'll show you, hold on where it kind of needs to be is like right around there oh, a little more Let's see. it needs to be like right there in order for it like a happy medium you see that but um that's the kind of spacing we miss and that's that's basically what we're hoping hoping to achieve we're just hoping to keep this as closest to the bumper as possible sorry closest to the bumper, bumper as possible. So unfortunately, what I'm gonna have to do is take off this bracket, clean it up, and weld another nut right there, which won't take too long. As a matter of fact, I'll do it right now. And just like that, people, we have a fully functional tow bar. Obviously, me pulling on it does nothing for you guys, I'm sure. But there it is back here, just so you can see that I didn't just mount it to the bumper like some risers would do, I'm sure. Uh, how good the camera's gonna pick that up. There's the uh, nut where you can, you know, situ situate it to where you want it to be. And there are my nuts with the bar. 
on what it's supposed to look like or I mean mounted into the holes it seems pretty solid I like it and it doesn't really move that bad I think with driving it might just sit like that which is fine by me I don't know what this is gonna do as far as scratching actually it doesn't even oh yeah it will touch but I don't think it'll even touch unless someone actually hits it I don't even think this thing's gonna vibrate that much to be honest but I have to give some serious effort and if I want to I can just tighten it a little more but now I'm going to put my bumper back together and give you some shots. So now that we're done, I want to say a couple things. Uh, one of the most important things is what I would do differently. If you can get away with buying a 3 inch flat bar, I would do that because you would need to weld that extra piece. Uh, additionally, now you know that if you decide to do this, you're going to do it on the outside. So you wouldn't weld like I did. You would spot weld everything, test fit it, make your holes in your bumper beforehand. Um, I didn't do that because this is kind of like the first time or the first one of these that I've ever seen before. So that's the other thing I would do. Uh, I would definitely only use grade 8 bolts because, you know, at the end of the day, you don't want your stuff breaking. I'm not really sure if this is going to hold up that well. Uh, it's supposed to be really good aluminum, like T601. 6015 billet something like that let's see t6061 billet aluminum so we'll see how that works out um, I mean it was only 20 bucks or something like that so the other thing I would do differently if I could do if I can change anything on this is when I make the hole I'd go ahead and make it like a square instead of a circle just, just to give you a little bit more wiggle room. I might do that in the future uh, when I plan on painting this truck or I might not even keep this, who knows. Um, holes are easier to patch to me anyways. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do a pull test at some point. Hopefully I can get it on video just to make sure everything's good to go. But I'm glad you stayed to the end and watch. Subscribe if you like it. Give it a thumbs up, share it if you want. Peace.